My name is Marissa Phillips, and I am currently in the professional photography program here at Cecil. I chose to come to Cecil College because of the reputation it has. I have learned nothing but great things about it and its fantastic visual communications program. Being that photography is what I want to pursue in life, I couldn't help but want to go to a school where I would learn so much in the photography field. Photography to me has always been more than just snapping a pretty picture. Although I didn't always want to be a photography major, my passion for it just kept drawing me back to it. Every time I go somewhere, whether it's on vacation, to a sporting event, or even just for a walk, I always find myself wanting to take photos and I won't stop until I get that perfect shot. The deeper I get into this program, the more I figure out which path of photography I want to pursue. I'm leaning more towards dealing with people and photographing portraits and weddings. A couple classes that have helped me figure this out are Photography 101, Studio One, and Internship. I will also be taking portrait photography and wedding photography in the spring. During the semester, I chose the internship route instead of portfolio production. During this time, I interned with Sarah Kermer, owner of High Contrast Photography, where I tagged along on weddings and engagement shoots and photographed as an apprentice so I could get more hands-on experience. I learned the typical wedding day routine for photographers, which includes pre-wedding, ceremony, formal portraits, and reception. During the pre-wedding, photos of the bride and the groom getting ready are taken, as well as detailed shots of the dress, shoes, rings, and the veil. Then during the ceremony, we take photos of the bride and the groom and the bridal party walking down the aisle, and as the rings are exchanged, the vows are said, and when the bride and groom kiss. Formal portraits that we typically take at a wedding are with the bride and the groom with their family and the bride and the groom with the bridal party. Also, we take photos of just the bride and the groom by themselves. At the reception, all of the most important events are captured, such as the first dance, the mother-son dance, the father-daughter dance, toasts, bouquet and garter toss, and the cake cutting. I also was able to stay back in the office and learn the behind-the-scenes workings of a wedding photographer. The back office workings include a variety of tasks such as editing photographs, communicating with clients, business meetings, paperwork, and finances. Working for Sarah, I learned the level of professionalism that is required when working weddings, as well as how to go about taking control on a wedding day without overstepping your boundaries. I also learned a tremendous amount of information about owning a business that I didn't know before. I am currently expecting to graduate this May of 2015 with my professional photography degree. After I graduate, I plan to get my bachelor's in photography. And in five years, I see myself still working as an assistant for Sarah Kermer in high contrast photography. However, I hope to have opened my own photography business within the next five years and hope it will be running steadily. I would like to thank Sarah Kermer and the entire High Contrast Photography team for pushing me to become better and helping me grow closer to the photographer that I know I can be. I would also like to thank all of my instructors here at Cecil for believing in me and giving me all of the proper knowledge to succeed as I continue down this journey towards my dream of owning my own business. Thank you.